Hi guys, hello. Hopefully everyone can hear me. Oh, I've got my headphones on. Let me just sort that out. How is everyone? Hmm. Hi, 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 hi. Can everyone hear me? Everyone seems to be waving. Hello. Um, so it's me, Shama, again, uh, taking over the uh, Biz Asia Live account. Um, and today we've got um, Shweta Subram coming on soon. Um, and if you don't know her, you should know her. She's an amazing singer. Um, she's worked with some of the most amazing artists um, that Bollywood has to offer. Um, as well as internationally. She's done loads and loads of things, um, which we will talk about. Um, and hopefully she will she'll come live with us soon. Um, and yeah. Hmm. Hi everyone. Hello. Waving. This is great. This is great. Can everyone hear me, by the way? If, if you can hear me, can you just send me a wave or say that you can hear me? Um, hmm. Hi, hi, hi. Just waiting for Shweta to come on. Uh, let me see if I can add her actually. Um, if she is on. No. Okay, she's not on yet. We're just trying to see if she's she's coming on. Um, let me see, let me see. Aha, here we go. Um, just bear with me one second. Yeah, hopefully in a little, we'll just wait for her. Hello. Shweta. Hi Shama, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing very good. I hope I'm not late. No, 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 you're absolutely fine. You're absolutely fine. How's it going? Going good. I've been having a you know tough couple of weeks with the colonoscopy this morning, but now I'm fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's all right. So, so where are you right now? Are you I'm um, in Dubai? Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. why. That's because I was wondering. I was because I know that you were uh, you're you're originally from from Canada, right? Originally from Canada. Yeah. Lived. Uh, you know, in the US and Canada. And oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, so so how, how is it in Dubai currently? Like, what's the situation? Things are great. I mean, you know, they've opened up. Uh, oh, good. Honestly, life is back to normal here. But of course, really? I, I say that it's very important for people to take precautions. Okay. Wear your masks, sanitize, do whatever you can. Yeah. Because, yeah. Uh, oh, that would be good crazy you know so you've got to be careful <laughs> of course of course now i think people are going to be going to be extra extra careful um about, about what happens and um i mean it's great because then now at least everyone can sort of get back to normality um if if that's what you want to call it yeah, i mean you know, it, it also comes to the point where um the economy is suffering right like with everything yeah of course and, yeah uh, people are going crazy too like how much can you really lock people down <sighs> I know, I know. It, well, this is it. It's one of those things where it's sort of like, you know, on, on everyone has to try and look at the positive. And yeah. um, a lot of people, like for, like on, on my side, a lot of people are getting into like baking and cooking and doing all the things yeah. they didn't, they, they couldn't do before. Um, <laughs> exactly. I mean, I mean, you know, whilst you were in lock, whilst you guys were in lockdown, what, what were you up to? What, what were you spending your time I, with? I actually did a lot of cooking and... I actually like because I, I enjoyed cooking, but I never really took the time to do anything yeah. about it. And so I got to thanks to Instagram, right? You'll get to yeah. see a lot of these, uh, I, I, you know, influencers and yeah. uh, where people are making delicious things, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna try that out. And of course, of course. So hopefully you're breaking the bank because you know, <laughs> all these ingredients every day, which you might never use again. But exactly. It's fun to try it I out. mean. I mean, if it was the best, yeah, it's definitely, definitely the best time to sort of, yeah. sort, sort of yeah. get into that. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's been sort of, even though everything's been on a standstill, um, you know, you've still had so much recognition for so much of um, your work and everything um, from sort of all over the world, really. Like, you know, and it's kind of, it's, it's really nice that it's, 
there's it's not just sort of one industry that you've worked in you've worked in quite a few quite a few industries here and there all over the world like how has that how has that been how has that journey been for you the journey's been fantastic i mean i you know i was i i was born in dubai grew up mm. here but then i went to canada and i pursued my uh, for me music really was just a passion it was mm. just, you know it was more of a hobby and then um it became a profession when i won this contest uh, which was organized yeah. it was equivalent to the indian idol competition um, mm. it's it's i would say it's more authentic only because uh it's called sangam kala group it's it's been there for generations in india yeah. and they are actually the ones that discovered uh sonu nigam shreya goshal and sunidhi chauhan in the first place and yeah. after that uh, you know uh, the three legends that we have now have have done wonders in the world of bollywood but uh, really you know for me winning that competition winning a bunch of other awards that kind of got me thinking you know i was like you know maybe i should pursue uh, music more than just a hobby more than yeah. just a passion and i you know nothing like doing what you, uh, like what you love what you love you enjoy doing it doesn't feel like a job it's brilliant yeah. i mean that that is the is the ultimate dream you know and it's 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 nice especially it's sort of like it was just a hobby um, yeah. and it sounds like you kind of just went into it thinking okay i'll just do this and see where it gets me um yeah. you know without any expectations um and it's got you it's got you so so far um you know like you mentioned you you did you did mention like the likes of Ravi Agnik and you know Shreya Goshal and you've worked with a lot of big names you know you've performed with uh, Salim Suleiman you performed with Shan like Atif Aslam um i mean how is how is that for you like what have what, how is the experience of, of you know going on tour and performing with all these big names Yeah the experience was surreal because it started off with uh, the IFA awards uh, with yeah. that I performed in Toronto never saw that coming when it happened in 2011 <laughs> oh uh, god and uh, you know i was just putting up music videos online because uh, it was a thing to do like you know you want yeah. to get recognized and especially when you're not living in india that like especially mm-hmm. mumbai that's the hub for bollywood right so you're yeah. like okay let me do whatever i can uh, i was in toronto i was putting up uh, original content Mm. I had actually written two songs Gile and Ruta. Oh, oh yes. I yeah. put that up on uh on YouTube and my channel and uh, Salim Suleiman's team uh you know saw that they loved it and IFA Awards happened to uh, be in Canada in 2011. So they reached out to it me was. and said, "Hey, do, would you like to be a part of IFA?" So I got to perform with Salim Suleiman for IFA there and that was great and then uh, as I said the rest is history. I mean, you know, one thing followed another. So mm. uh, recently in the last year has been great it's been very um, legendary for me because i got yes. sonu nigam in fact uh, this very date last year i was with sonu nigam yeah <gasps> oh my god and, that's so nice yeah today was the day that i performed with sonu nigam last year in uh, in uh, fort lauderdale and uh, he, he was really happy with the performance and then he invited me to perform with him again in uh, suriname uh, in south america Yeah. So uh, you know I got a chance to do that plus I got to perform in Saudi Arabia I was the first uh, first female Bollywood yeah. to perform with Shan. Yeah. You are so, you are. So it's, you know, it's 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 I'm very grateful for all the opportunities I've got like got so much gratitude I think uh, it's really the the the, the blessings and uh, you know best wishes of people around me my friends my family um always obviously we get greedy for more we're like oh you know more can happen and we we are we're always like looking for the next opportunity mm. but uh, i think something i've learned in the past couple of weeks is like really to be grateful to everything that you've had and everything you yeah. have so i uh, love it yeah i mean your journey sounds sounds like a dream it sounds like something that everyone would would want um and you've you know it's sort of your 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 talent and your work and the work that you put out there is so commendable um mm-hmm. i mean you know i've i've seen it you know i i have seen a few clips of you performing on stage and you it's one of those things where it's very evident that you just love being there and your performances okay. are so electrifying and the people that are with you no matter who they are like i did i did i did see the um performance that you did do with with salim and he literally like sometimes he'll like look at you and he it will he will be mesmerized by your oh, singing okay. and your talent um, yes. and it's so it's so nice like you know the chemistry that you have with whoever you are um you know on stage with mm-hmm. um it's like how you know so w- what have you learned from 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 all of these people that that you worked with like is there something that you really 
has changed the way that you see how you want to progress your career or the way that you sing or you know what have you learned from them what have they taught you so i think one thing i've learned uh, i think you know that it's, it's across the board that's very that's very consistent with all of them is uh, uh, unparalleled dedication mm. um, you need that i mean uh, no matter how uh, huge you become or how popular you become uh, especially this is one thing i noticed i had i had a better opportunity to actually see this with uh, sonu nigam last year because as i was mentioning i did two uh, two city tours with yeah. him and you know it's not just uh, going there on the day off and performing mm-hmm. actually when you do these tours with them you get to be with them you know the day before the day after uh you also get an insight of their uh you know practices their riyas as we call it yeah. uh, we get to we get to see like you know what else they do they do like on a day to day basis mm. so you know i just saw so much discipline uh, with with sonu nigam you know it was he would wake up in the morning he'd go and work out uh you know not just it's not just about having a good voice but it's also mm-hmm. about physical fitness so he would he would uh, sonu ji would uh, be in the gym and you know he was very supportive of me like he'd say come to the gym let's work out oh together. that's nice So it was really cute like if, you know i'm trying to push some dumbbells and <laughs> i i hardly can carry one and i'd be like that too <laughs> and he's doing some major push ups and i feel like such a loser <laughs> you know it's like it's so i'd be like don't look at me i don't, I, i i'm embarrassing myself you know so cute there's actually a picture on insta too with both of us are posing and and <laughs> me, i look i look like i'm posing okay i look like i look like i'm posing really hard to look like you know to oh like, my god you know, of that <laughs> that frame it's so to be so like flawless and so effortless right so, he's so sweet he's so oh. he's so encouraging and then even with riyas i mean the best part was you know i i i was in, initially invited just to open up open for mm. him. Uh, I, the the idea was just to open for sonoji and he does his show but what it, it all changed like the minute i met him he sat with me he went through my list of songs which was beautiful he's like okay yeah. i want i want to know what you're singing and so he took a personal interest in finding out what i was singing and then right off the bat he's like hey you know uh, do you want to sing bole chudiya with me do you want to sing uh, you know uh, you are my sonia with me do you want to sing these songs do you want to do a duet with me on stage and i'm like okay yeah <laughs> so, that's so sweet song, which is great but you mm. know that's the, that's the that's the um, a sign of a true professional uh, yes what, what i'm trying to say is that it's not, it's it's uh, you know he he has a level of discipline and commitment from his part but then if you are prepared uh, you know these these opportunities shouldn't deter you like if mm. you can spot i should be prepared to sing with him you know? yeah because that yeah. opportunity doesn't come again and again so not at so, all yeah so, yeah it's 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 those opportunities of a lifetime and um well, you know it's kind of you've just kind of proved that any opportunity that comes to yeah. you and even the opportunities that you've made yourself you know you've kind of just grabbed them and run with them um yeah. and you know you said that you you you'd you, you know you also song right and um one what you know once one song is is that I wanted to talk to you about is your single Rasia Uh, yeah. which is oh, yeah. is beautiful it's so 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 beautiful uh, which i i will ask you later if you could sing a few lines um no but but I, i i did want to know like how how did how did that come to you so rasia was uh so i was actually i i've always loved writing my own songs um and uh, so i started off with jile ajuba those were two yeah. songs by me but then rasia was i was talking to this guy in pakistan uh yeah. the name of thing and we were just discussing you know uh, um, uh, work and uh, talking about working together and you know he came up with a melody and then we were discussing lines and what well, uh, you know uh, okay how would this lines line lyrics sound and how would that lyric sound you know sometimes you don't plan too much no and you know as soon as that song was written it struck a chord you know like it's just like man i i i love this song and i i want to do so much with it like i would have loved to see that song in a film because i believe it has so much and i know i i could sound biased because it's my song obviously <laughs> but <laughs> and this song should be in a movie you know because it's got that it's got the characteristics of being a soundtrack for a film but oh yeah for sure at the same time yeah. it's an independent song and i liked it so much that i have to tell you this that i liked it so much that i even did a i've even created a tamil version of the same song oh okay So I actually got I got a guy I'm not believed it yet but I've got okay. in fact I got a guy uh, from the UK uh, his name is uh, da- Dayan Dayan Shan he actually wrote the Tamil lyrics for me Oh my and god that's amazing I can't wait to put it out there I mean it's been long overdue but I've always just been waiting for the right opportunity to shoot mm. it 
a good video and then put it out. Yeah, it's such a beautiful song and I completely agree. It's sort of, it is definitely, definitely something that hopefully people are listening and they're like, yes, all right, let's have a look. And, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. check it out on YouTube, guys. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's amazing. Um, I mean, it's already had, I think, over 72,000 views already or something like that. So you're definitely doing something right. Could you sing a few lines for us? Yeah, sure. Yeah, do not Oh my god, that literally gave me goosebumps. Oh my god, that was so nice. Thank you I so much. Oh no, oh my god, that was so nice. Thank you so so much. I mean, it is such if you guys honestly, if you guys are listening, go and watch the full video. It's such a beautiful, beautiful song. Um you know, I mean I mean, you know when you are songwriting, sort of what is your do you have a certain thought process or, you know, some sort of inspiration any kind of inspiration that inspires you? What do you go by when you think, right, I've got a song and I just wanna I, I'm not gonna lie, I really have no inspiration when I'm songwriting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, because for me okay. all the songs that have come to me have been very spontaneous. Mm. It's been a spur of the moment. Like when I wrote Gile, you know, it was another things at that time I was you know as as uh, South Asians growing up and especially when uh, you know you're out when you live outside India and um, you're trying to keep a balance of uh, being Indian and also growing up in a culture you know where uh, there's so much exposed to you where sometimes our parents are like oh but you know uh, you know you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that yeah. and, you know I've heard and you, you constantly hear that from society day in and day mm. out what's yes, right and what's wrong. everybody has an opinion right yeah. Of course, of course, yeah. In the South Asian community, everyone has an opinion. Yeah. Your friends' parents have an opinion on what you should do and what you shouldn't do. So, you know, there came a point where I was like, and because, especially because I was, I was choosing a, a career that's very uh, non-conventional, like, you know, being a mm. professional singer, when yeah. ideally everyone has to be a doctor or an engineer or an accountant. Yes, so everyone's had that. Yeah, and plus, you know, because when I was growing up, I told everyone, like, oh, I'm going to be a microbiologist, and everyone was like, oh. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so from that to becoming a singer is a big, is a huge leap, you know. Yes. So, so everyone's like, so everyone had to say, like, oh, this is right and this is wrong. So that's where my first song came from, which was Gile, where mm -hmm. I was like, you know, uh, you, you, you can, you can, you're up all night thinking of, you know, uh, what the world is thinking. Uh, sometimes you'll get people, uh, I'm not trying to, uh, you know, paint people in, in a negative light, but sometimes you mm. get, you get like jealousy, you get all kinds of emotions. And yeah. the song basically said, Jalti hai jo dunya, jalne do, jane do, paani hai manzile, lakho hai paani ko, which means you have so much to achieve. Yeah. There's no yeah. point of thinking what the world is thinking about you. Just go for it. Just and jile, jile, khul ke jile. Like, just live your life openly and live your life to the fullest. The wonderful yeah. words. Yeah. Yeah. They're wonderful, wonderful words. I mean, and it's, you know, like you said, it's sort of, it's sort of because it's balancing out your, your Indian culture to the Western culture that you're exactly. um, exposed to. Um, exactly. And I think, I think that's, you know, it's, it, that actually speaks a lot because it's, it, it actually, you know, it, it makes you relatable to a wider community as well. Um, mm -hmm. You know, because there are so many people like like us. Uh, you know, we live here. We live here in the UK, and it's it's the same thing where it's trying to balance it out. I mean, yeah. that's I mean that's brilliant. You know, and it's just taking your own taking your taking your own experience and and putting that to paper. Um, and it's done so so much for you. It's it's so great that you know that it's it's got you so far. Um, because you also do, um, like, your covers are amazing as well. The covers that you do for different songs are wonderful. I, I just are, I, literally, they're just one loop, and it's just it's just great. It's so, so great. Um, and then Hawaii's Amba came to you as well, and it was like, you sang that with Ayushman, who was also in the yeah. film. Um, yeah. You know, how was, how was that? Because that was your first, like, 
playback volume yeah. song. Yeah, that was my first playback. Actually, what happened was um, I was visiting Mumbai in uh, January 2015. And uh, I honestly didn't see that coming because what happened was I was talking to a friend, Bharat, who was an excellent programmer. Mm. Uh, he worked for, in the movie industry. He's done multiple Bollywood films. So he called me up one day and said, hey, listen, we'd like to you know, try out your uh, voice for a song. Um, you know, it, it would have been nice if you're in India, but, uh, you know, is there any, any way you could get to India? And weirdly enough, I was, all, I was just one day away from taking my flight to Bombay. Oh, you know, wow. So, yeah, it was just, it, it was, <laughs> sometimes it's just serendipity, serendipity, right? When things are yeah. going to happen. So literally, I was on the flight to Bombay. I said, listen, I'll see you in your studio tomorrow. I went, I sang a few lines and it was so heartwarming because I sang that song and within like 20 minutes, I heard that the song is going to the film. And I was like, wow, like this is the <laughs> fastest something has ever happened to me. Uh, you, know, you, you, you think of it as a huge process. You know, you think of the fact that oh, somebody has to contact you and audition you and do all of that. But I guess fortunately, because we live in the uh, digital age where, you know, uh, your work is on uh, Insta, it's on YouTube, it's on Facebook. Mm -hmm. People, when people reach out to you, a lot of times they already know about your work, they know about your voice, and they have a specific, um, you know, agenda in mind. They have a specific uh, reason or a specific project for which they think your voice would be a good fit, and that's probably why they're reaching out to you. But that being said, in Bollywood, I've also heard, like, especially if you're working for uh, music directors like Preetham, you know, mm. he's, very known, he's very known to record, like, 10 voices for one song and then take a final call, you know, yeah. of what sounds good. So, you know, I was prepared for anything. And uh, really, this was a big, big thing for me that my song got approved in like 15, 20 minutes. And the most heartwarming thing was I was doing media interviews with Aishman Khurana as well when the film was better released. I was in India. So we were doing mm. some media interviews together. And, you know, he was so sweet. I mean, I, I couldn't believe it because he's like, listen, I've been following your work on YouTube. I've heard your, song, oh my God. your songs. And I was like, wow. <laughs> you never yeah. know who's listening. You know? Yeah. So I yeah. think that's, that's how Adeline Nada and that's how Hawaii Zada happened. And I really think it's uh, so, so important to always uh, do a quality control check of stuff that yeah. goes online because you never know who's listening. Yeah. It, you know, you're absolutely, absolutely right. I mean, you know, I'm just thinking like you must, that, that, just him just saying that he watches everything must have come yeah. to such a surprise to you you know I yeah. mean do you still get you know when people do reach out to you do you still get do you still get quite shocked that people are still still looking at you are you have you come become quite used to people saying you know I've, I've big names coming to you saying I've, I've seen your YouTube clips or I've I've, I've heard your songs or yeah yeah, it's a bit of a mix, you know, like there's still a bit of a shock, but there's still a bit of a being getting used to it. I've gotten used to it also because I'll tell you why. Uh, why that shock element still there is because there's a lot online. There's a lot of yeah. content creators, you know. It's gotten very competitive, mm. honestly. I mean, I can't sit there and just, you know, put my feet on the, on the, on the, on the, on the, on my, you know, yeah. and, oh gosh, you know, it's, it's me and no one else. No, because you know what? The, 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 the generation now has gotten smarter and smarter with mm -hmm. the uh, content creation, with create, creative content. Uh, there's so much out there. So it's yeah, there is. So you need to like step up the game. You really, really need to like, you know, uh, be ahead of the game actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's next? What, what can I do to get people's attention? So really um, uh, that's important. And yeah, I would say it's a mixed feeling. Like sometimes I feel a little surprised but sometimes I'm like okay you know what I have substantial amount of work out there so mm. I'm sure when people are googling or youtubing and uh, they're probably finding some good stuff oh yeah they're oh yeah for sure they are definitely it's it, your work is definitely definitely out there it's like it's you know it's you start you started off quite quite a while ago when the internet was you know it's it was yeah. youtube was still very new people were still discovering it um yeah. and and you still continue to to put work out there um what I want you to ask you is for someone who's starting off now, mm -hmm. is there any kind of advice that you would give to them of how to of how to get themselves out there of, or what they can do to stand out? So I think uh, right now, because like I said, there's so much of a cluster online, mm -hmm. I think, uh, uh, you know, I think it's uh, important to cross collaborate, like maybe look for creators who are already doing well, you know, who have like a good reach and maybe collaborate with them because that's mm -hmm. one sure shot of getting noticed. 
and uh, because you know i mean it's and it's not it's not easy i'm not going to yeah. say like it's very difficult to reach to reach out to these creators so it's not like oh i can just send them a message and they can respond to me that happens great you're lucky <laughs> yeah. but yeah. Uh, i think it's and uh, apart from that if that looks like a uh, you know a difficult thing to do just be yourself be authentic like whatever you put out there don't try and sound like someone do don't, don't mm. try and copy someone's style because you know at, people are people are smart your audience are smart they're going to figure it out they're going to be like man you know she sounds like this person or she's trying to emulate this particular artist so i think being authentic having your own style these are these things are very important and also just um cross promotion cross marketing like have youtube have insta have facebook have it all and really try and cross promote because you never know again like who's watching who's listening so yeah for sure no for sure, for sure. i mean it seems like the internet is actually currently the best place to go yeah. a best place to be um so <laughs> awesome. especially well especially now with you know most of the world being still being you know kind yeah. of on lockdown um but yeah it's it's sort of it's it's something that i think if i was actually quite when i was you know when i was reading up on you and you know looking through everything cuz um i know i i i've heard about you through amrita of course so, um and it's just it's really nice cuz even with your covers that you were saying when you were being yourself yeah. you weren't you weren't replicating the singer that you were covering it was exactly the song but it was your personality exactly. um which is which which stands out which stands out a lot um i mean you know you did mention that you get that that you're going to have a um, hopefully a tamil version of uh, rasia coming out which everyone yeah. is looking forward to um but you know is what what else have you got in the pipeline what else can we can we look forward to so i actually have a song that i'm working on it's called dooli it's a okay. very song uh, it's really fun i've actually worked uh, on that song with a group called josh they are based out of france oh, yes Yeah so yeah. group in queue we've done a song together called Dolly which is really fun and apart from that I'm also doing a lot of uh, we're in lockdown so I've done a lot of like uh, like recently I just put out put out a song called Savare Savare it's a very old number by Lata ji but we did a so oh. I think and, sorry uh, yeah so so yeah like you know I'm I'm work I'm doing a lot of collaborations with artists since we're in lockdown So oh, yeah that's good. Oh and and could could we hear a few lines from the new song? Yeah so um oh you mean from Dolly? From Dolly yeah. Tu ke zara meri doli saja ja tu ke zara meri doli saja ja sone ke tu mujhe kangan dila ja tu ke zara meri doli saja ja tu ke zara meri doli saja ja sone ke kangan tujhe mujhe dila ja it's just a very oh, good that's good. brilliant Do you know what I can I can already see like in my head I was just literally thinking this is already going to be on like every other wedding playlist as soon as it comes out Yeah you I know can what just, actually, I can just I can see it This song was all right. this song was kind of released on uh, Mostly Sunny it's an it's it's a documentary on Sunny Leone Oh yes 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 it's on Netflix so they used part of the song cuz uh, they had asked oh, for the song. Yeah so this song is already actually in that documentary and uh, believe it or not the song hardly played for i think a minute in the documentary and i already had a lot of people writing to me saying like where can i actually find this <laughs> where can you find the song you know? of course so i was like, very overwhelmed with that cuz i'm like man you hardly heard it for it <laughs> and it was all about sunny leone right so i like would care about a soundtrack but you know honestly it was so well made cuz now i that's kind of gave me the confidence that mm. i could really put that song out as a single so of course yeah so yeah it was really nice. Yeah. Definitely if you, if you give if you give them a minute they want they want everything. So yeah. I mean I can, I can see why 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 people were drawn to it so much. I mean that sounds like that's going to be a really really good song. Um yeah. and it's it's going to be amazing. I mean do you have any 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 message any messages for your fans anyone who's listening to you? Basically all I want to say is you know uh, uh make use of this lockdown like don't don't uh, don't Uh, be sad or depressed or negative about it uh, it's the best time to actually spend with your family and friends i know it seems really long but trust me these days won't come back again because once you're on the road uh, you know we're always on the go and we don't really uh, stop we don't we don't we don't we don't spend quality time with our uh, well wishers with our loved ones and we don't do things that we love doing like no. you know there's so many things that i think we have discovered um, uh, during this process 
that we love doing. Like I discovered that I love cooking. I discovered that you know I love watching TV shows. So all these things are important for your me- uh, mental well-being and uh, yeah. for your overall health. So stop, just, take a breather, and uh, just be positive. It's all gonna get better very soon. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. That was so lovely speaking to you today. Um, And thank you so, so much. And we really, really look forward to all the things that you have in the future. Um, And I will say, you know, definitely spend your time like listening to your songs because it's just, it's brilliant. It was absolutely, it's been such a pleasure. Thank you. You know what, before before I do sign off, I'd like to say a few lines of this uh, last song. Please do. You guys, thank you for having me. So I'm just going to sing a few lines of this. Uh, You know the song, I'm sure. ऐसे लहरा के तू रूबरू आ गई ऐसे लहरा के तू रूबरू आ गई धड़कने बताशा तड़पने लगी धड़कने बताशा तड़पने लगी तीर ऐसा लगा दर्द ऐसा जगा तीर ऐसा लगा दर्द ऐसा जगा छोटे दिल पे वो खाई मजा आ गया मेरे रश के कमर रश के कमर तूने पहली नजर जब नजर से मिलाई मिलाई Oh, that was wonderful. Thank you so, so much. Oh my God, you guys heard it here first. Sorry? I said thank you so much for having me. Oh, no problem. Thank you so much, Red. That was so lovely speaking to you. Um, And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And hopefully we can speak again soon. Yes, take care. Thank you so much. Okay, Okay. bye-bye. Right, guys. Yes, that was Shweta Subram. Oh, my God. What an amazing voice, honestly. Uh, she is wonderful. She's beautiful. I had so much fun talking to her. Thank you all so much for joining. Um, you know, we've seen all your ways and all your hellos. And, um, yeah, hopefully we will see you soon. Um, this is Shama signing off from Biz Asia. Thank you so much for joining. Bye. <laughs>